Hey guys, so it's kind of dark outside. I'm actually in my bathroom, so if you hear any echoes, excuse me for that. I know the light might be probably off. I tried to turn off one light, it looked pretty dark, and then when I turned off the other light and turned on the other light just by itself, I looked pretty orange. So, you're gonna have to excuse me for that. But for today's video, I kinda wanna do do something a little different. I am going to review two two products for you. One is from the drugstores and one is from Sephora. And I also got a request to do a review on something that I got from Sephora because she wanted to see it and also she wanted to see if it worked or not for me. So I'm going to do a my review slash thoughts on what I think about it. I am I was going to do a demo on it. Um, I'm thinking of doing it, I'm not really too sure, but uh, we'll see how that goes, if I do or if I don't, so yeah, let's get started. What I wanted to review is this face brush that I got from Sephora. This brush originally costs, <sighs> tax and everything is about around $8 or a little over. Dollars to be exact. I'm not really too sure. I will have a link down below for the Sephora website where you can purchase this if you want to get it online or if you want to go to your nearest Sephora and purchase this. They have different kinds. They have a pink one, a purple one, then they have a black one which is a duo where they have the brush and then they also have kind of like a rubbery sponge feeling on the back of the brush and this one doesn't have it. It's just a plain purple brush. I do like this brush. I originally got it because I went to Ulta to find a face brush and they didn't have it. So I was looking around and I saw that Sephora had one for uh, cheap, which is only like $7 plus tax and everything, so $8, uh, which is still pretty cheap. And so I got this from Sephora, originally trying to find a face brush. Typically I like the handle, it's very, the handle feel. I don't want to say necessarily like plastic, it does feel like plastic, but it feels like something that you have to put your whole weight into it um, in order for it to break the handle. I do like how it comes with a little cap, so you can just close if you don't want any bacteria to get onto the brush. I typically use this nighttime to make sure that all my foundation gets off of my face you know you don't want that junk on your face so what I do is I put my favorite current face wash into the palm of my hand I massage that into my hand and put it over my face and then that's when my brush comes in I wet it underneath the water and I just go into circular motion working it into my face now going in circular motion behind your or the back of your hand it doesn't feel that rough it feels actually soft but when applying it to your face for me it feels a little bit rough I'm not sure if that's how the brush is supposed to be or if it's my face is just a little bit too sensitive so it can't really take the roughness of this it is um, you can use it daily it's not like the Clarisonic uh, where you use it a couple times and then all of a sudden you break out because it kind of exploding exfoliating your skin um, This kind of is exfoliating your, exfoliating your skin, but not to an extent so when you kind of brush it on your face, it's like a, a Hairbrush when you're combing your hair, but this it just takes off your makeup It doesn't really take off any of your face uh, which it doesn't break out your face if that's what you're kind of questioning. I do like that it has a cap so it's good so you don't want any bacteria. I do use this every night. I leave this on my in my shower and I just wash my face and take off my makeup. I like how it feels a little rough but I can take it with my skin. I use this every single day so it's a good travel size. You can just pop this into your makeup bag or into your suitcase with your makeup or whatnot and then it will be in your bag so it's a good travel size I like the handle it fits great into my hands since I have small hands and it does its job it takes off my makeup I noticed that my skin has been a little bit more clearer since I've been using this with also my face wash that's helping my skin a little bit so 
without my face wash and without this, um, my skin will probably be the same. But I noticed that it take this brush takes off more than what my makeup wipes and my eye makeup remover would do on its own. So I notice a change in my skin and in my taking off my makeup routine. Um, I know that this brush takes off way more than what my makeup wipes would do. So I would go and recommend this for you if you need a little kind of jump kick into your face uh, where you know you're getting all that makeup off and you are knowing that you are getting all that makeup off then go ahead and buy this brush um, all I can say is that the downside of this is that it feels rough on my skin I don't know if it will feel rough on yours it does on mine so that's the only downside about this but other than that it kind of foams up nicely you just go into circular motion um, I can't really get it into the corner of my nose because it's a little bit flimsy as you can see it's kind of flimsy so trying to get it in the corner of your nose is a little bit hard you have to actually kind of move your nose and then press it real in there but other than that I like it it works perfectly fine it takes off all my makeup it's a good travel size the handles great it that's all I can say it's it's a great product so if you want to check this out and if you want to buy it I will have a link down below in the info bar where you can purchase this or where you can see reviews about it if you want to so yeah go ahead and comment down below and let me know what else reviews you want to see that are in the drugstores I will be filming some more reviews for you guys I know I've been filming a lot of hauls and to be truthful there are two more videos that I will be uploading within this week and next week that will be hauls so I know I gotta be filming a lot of different videos, but for now I need to get the hauls out of the way. Um, that way you can see the products that I get, and when you see the products I can get, you guys can tell me what you would like to see me do a review or first impression. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Support me by checking out my channel and subscribing wherever the button subscribe is. And leave a comment down below what you would like to see next. I will be doing tags and reviews in the near future. And when I get a better camera, I'll be filming makeup tutorials. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.